In the last ASP.NET video, we created our default.aspx page, which is of course our first content page, and we created our master page. Now what we want to do is get rid of this index.html because we no longer want to serve this out. We want everything to be in our default.aspx and everything in our master page.master. And so we're going to extract all of the HTML out of here and put them into the master page in default.aspx. And then at the end of this lecture, we will delete the index.html out of the root because we don't want that being served out. And then the default.aspx will be served out pulling the template from the master page. So first thing we're going to do actually is work against our master page and then we'll work against our default.aspx. So first again we're going to look at the master page.master and I've got them both open right here. I've got the index.html and the master page.master. Now what we want to do is get all the ASP code out of here and can put it into our index.html. That's really the easy way to do this. And then what we can do is just copy and paste everything back into our master page.master. So that's what we're going to do. Well, we need this code up here. Remember, this identifies it as a master page. So let's go ahead and copy all of that. Let's go back to our index.html and we will put this above our doc type declaration. So I'll just copy and paste that right there. That's good. Now, we don't need this ASP code right here for now because this is pretty good. We're just going to point to the same style sheet. Uh, this is complaining about a title, so let's just put in a title. So we'll put in a title tag here, and this just appears at the top of our web page. And since this is sort of a history thing we're developing here, we'll just say history website. And there you can see we got rid of the IntelliSense. So that's all good, actually. Like I said, we don't need to use any of this ASP code right now in our head section. We'll come back to this later. We don't need this as well. What we really need are these ASP tags right here. These are the two biggies, so we're going to copy these. So what I want you to do first is we're going to copy this first one, and we're going to place this right in our main, our main div, because that is where our content is going to be, like I said in the last lecture. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, actually, you know what, let's go back to the master page dot master and let's copy all of this. I made a mistake there. And then what we're going to do is just paste that right below our div main. So we'll put that right there. And don't worry about this IntelliSense right now. So that's actually good. We've actually got everything we need right now. I also want to change this right now to main content and we're going to call this one. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes as well. So that we're going to change the ID. Now, this is our content. But remember what I said in the last video. The content will not go in our master page. It'll go in our default.aspx, which again is the first content page that gets loaded. So we need to go ahead and copy this content. And we'll just copy this. We can go ahead and get rid of it. And then we'll go over to our default.aspx. And right between this second level of code here, all of the, this code right here, these two ASP tags, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste our content. See how easy that is, by the way, to add content? From now on, we can just put content right between these two ASP tags, and it's just that easy. Now, we're not going to use this first uh, set of code here, so just go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to switch this to content one. I'll explain all of this later. And we're going to switch this to main content one to match up what we did in our master page. Main content one, good. Okay, and that IntelliSense will go away in a second. And uh, we'll deal with this IntelliSense as well. By the way, before you ever load a page, you'll want to get rid of this IntelliSense that the compiler is complaining about. So you have, just have to look at these. And as I said, we'll, be, we'll deal with these in a few minutes. Okay, so now we've got all of this code that looks ready to go. So what we're going to do is copy and paste all of this. So you can just do a select all if you want. And we're going to copy this over all this default code that we had in our master page. And there you go. Now we've converted our index.html into a template that is our master page.master. So we can just go ahead and close this out now. We don't need to save it. Who cares? And we're going to delete it. Remember, we made a backup of it already. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that. That is gone now. And now let's go ahead and fix some of this IntelliSense. So let's look at this and see. Cannot find main content one in the current master page.master. 
Uh, that's weird because we have it right here. Main content one. Let's look at this. And there you see it went away. Sometimes, by the way, and this is strange with uh, Visual Studio, if you just you click around a little bit, it's like it loses focus, the fact that we made a change over here, this main content one. So if you just switch to the next tab and you tab over, you can see that it went away. Because that really was erroneous. If you look here, uh, our, these match up. Here's our main content one, and here's our main content one. They match up just fine. So let's go ahead and do a save all. And let's just check a couple more things here. And I'm talking to myself right now, sorry. Just checking to make sure everything looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire this up. And we're gonna view in the browser. And there you can see our page loads. Now, it looks, of course, very similar to the web page we had with the index.html, but things are very different now because now we are serving out an ASP website. And now if you got some strange funky errors, sometimes that occurs when you first try to load your website from an ASP web page. So sometimes you got to close out of Visual Studio, restart it up and then fire it back up. Sometimes I do, so I just hit you have to close out of Visual Studio. But anyways, but this code is good because you can see I just was able to fire it up. By the way, I will create paste links for uh, both of these web pages in the description of this video. Okay, so now let's examine a few things. What did we do? Well, we're gonna kind of regurgitate what we talked a little bit in the last video, but now we can really start to point things out and hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer. Now, as I said, this master page is just a template. We never put any content in here. That's why when we put these ASP tags down here, we didn't put any content in here. It doesn't go here. Because remember, our content pages are just pulling the master page as a template. All the content has to go in our content page. In this case, the very first page, the default.aspx. That's why I put the content in here. That's why this tag looks a little bit different. You'll see here it says ASP content. That identifies this as content. That's why we put the content between the ASP opening content tag and the ASP closing content tag. I don't want you to worry about this right now, this ID. We'll talk about this later. But what I do want you to worry about is this content placeholder ID main content one. Now, if we go back to the master page, we have to identify the section in our template where we want to put content. So that's what we did first here. We use this ASP content placeholder tag, and then we establish an ID for it, which we call main content one. It gets linked up over here in our content page because we specified it right here. We said, hey, use this content placeholder ID, main content one. That's where I want my content to go. So this placeholder, and, and that's what you want to think of this as, is just a placeholder. This right here ties us to this particular content on our content page, main content one. So they have to sync up. That's the main point I want you to realize. Now this run at server, don't, don't worry about this too much, but basically all this says is, hey, I want you to run our ASP code on the web server. And that's the default and that's the way it should be. So that's all that is, pretty simple. So again, when we load this page over here, the first thing that happens is a default.aspx gets loaded. And it realizes, oh, I've got a template I need to pull from. It comes here, pulls the template, and then if we go back to our default.aspx page, and then the content gets merged with this template. So it's really a two-step process. The default.aspx and the master page, that master, get merged to form our end product. That's how it works. Now to really point this out, now you don't have to follow this, you can just watch what I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and view our website now. And there you can see our content's gone. We just have the template. That's all that's getting loaded because we don't have any content anymore. Now let's go back and I'm gonna put the content actually in here and I want you to see this. So we're going to our master page now and we're gonna put in the content right in here, which we're not supposed to do. Remember, this is just a placeholder. No content should go in here. Let's do a save all and let's go ahead and load our website again. And look at that, no content. That's because the only thing that's gonna get loaded is our template. So even though we put that here, it does not work. So we need to put this back onto our content page. We go back here, and again, you always stick it between the opening content and the closing content ASP tag. And let's go ahead now and save all. And if we load this, 
now we should get our content back. And there you can see we get it back. And, and actually, basically, this gets easier now, right? All we have to do for our next content page is put all of our content between these two ASP tags. That's all we have to do. So we don't have to add all of this extra HTML now. See how much easier it is to use con master and content pages? We don't have to create all of this extra HTML for every page we do. We can just create a content template, and all we do now is just dump in the content that we want. So it's much easier to manage your website using the master content page relationship. And so like I said, in the next video, we're going to create a drill down to our Rome content. And so of course, this will change in the next video to the .aspx webpage. And so I will see you guys in the next video.